you can click on the keyframes down here and move them to increase time and you can see the frames right here represented by small little dots Let's zoom in on it if you use your mouse uh, middle mouse button you can uh, zoom in on the if you scroll you can zoom in on the comp instead of having to use the zoom tool so that's a quick shortcut I don't use the zoom tool as much when I can do it like this and if you hold down the middle mouse button and click you can use your hand tool which is useful when you're zoomed in but you can see how there's more dots in between than on this side because I moved the keyframe farther apart than this side so if you grab your keyframe and move it back to where it was and you hold shift it'll snap back to where your current time indicator is which is this uh, red line on your timeline so if I move it over here move it hold shift it'll snap to that control Z to send it back to where it was and remember we had this on two seconds so I'll get it on two seconds you can always check to see if you have it on the right time over here on the left snap the keyframe over all right now we're back to where we were zoom back out so you can see everything and let's see there you go with that now other things you can do with keyframes you can click and alter the keyframe up on here with the selection tool or the arrow tool as I like to call it as you probably noticed and you can change the position of the keyframe so let's go to this keyframe on the end here with the current time indicator so you can move it and then you can see down here watch that area and you can see that the position changes Let's see hit control Z twice to or a few times to send it back to what it is control Z does undo if you don't remember another way to move your keyframe would be moving moving these uh, slider points right here so if you click and hold and drag you can move up the different axes do it for this one and sometimes if you're um, really far away or the uh, canvas is really really big moving across takes up and down with these takes forever so you can click on it and type in something type in a number that works but maybe you're not sure what exactly the position is that you uh, the coordinates are so uh, um, you can hold shift and drag and it drags it way faster see All right. control Z and these buttons are these numbers here stand for the X and Y coordinates X means left and right and Y is up and down on a on an axis. See left and right for X and up and down for Y. See other ways to move. Oh, there is another way, but I highly don't recommend it. Let's see if it's in layer. You click on layer up here at the top, then you can go to transform. And you can do this with all these uh, different uh, transform options. Click on position, and then you can manually type in. You have percentages, which are honestly I never use this way because it uh, it's just you have to know the exact coordinates. But if I know the exact coordinates, I'm just gonna I'm just going to uh, type them in down here. Now, if you're scrubbing across and with your current time indicator and he's not seeming to move, now you may want to check and see if you have this button clicked, which is the live update. The warning pops up. I don't need this warning anymore. Now, when I want to try to scrub across, that won't, he doesn't move. There's a little uh, 
troubleshooting there in case that happens. Sometimes this kind of stuff happens when you're starting a program and you don't really know what to do. So there you go. But if you have a live update unchecked, you move to a certain keyframe, it will update at the end. It just doesn't scrub with you. See? <clears throat> and that's pretty good right now for learning uh, about the keyframes. There's more about keyframes that I can teach you uh, in the next tutorial or a later tutorial. So this is a good place to stop and look looking forward to seeing you guys at the next tutorial. Thank you. I always save it. Make sure you guys save. All right, bye.